So guys, the Batman 2021, as we all know, it's got to feature a rogues gallery of villains and sooner or later we were going to find out the castings of said roles and that is now started to begin because as you may have heard already, Jonah Hill is being kind of tapped for a villain. Now whether that be Penguin or the Riddler, yes, very interesting to hear the second name there just because uh, for the longest speculated time and fan cast from the fandom is that, you know, he really does fit a perfect penguin but more on that in a little bit uh, because we also have a brand new uh, Commissioner Gordon. But as usual guys, I'm going to break this down, give my thoughts on these new castings and what could be happening with Jonah Hill's character and what I think of the new Commissioner Gordon and all of that going forward in the Batman 2021. But guys, if you go on to enjoy this video, please leave a like on it. It really does show support for the channel. And of course, subscribe to stay up to date with everything the Batman 2021. So as we all know everyone, with recent plot details coming out even more, but this is kind of recycled information at the same time, is that the Batman will explain a detective case. When people start dying in strange ways, Batman must go deep into the dark world of Gotham to find clues and solve the mystery and conspiracy connected to the Gotham City's history and criminals. In the film, all of Batman's rogues gallery are already out there and active, similar to the comics and animated shows or movies. This film will have multiple villains as they are all suspects. And now, as we've already been over in a bunch of videos before, this heavily mirrors the, the storyline of the Long Halloween and a couple of other integral storylines um, which will probably be blended all into one cool little Matthew Reeves, uh, Matt Reeves, whatever way you want to say his name, uh, little masterpiece because I have a lot of faith in this movie. Uh, but now the interesting stuff guys, the interesting stuff is starting to happen. This is the stuff that gets me absolutely buzzing but I'm also very just like oh wow wait wait you know last night when I heard about you know uh, Jonah Hill I was like I knew it. I knew it. Will Gray, check him out in the description down below. He's a great artist who does a lot of concept arts. Full of the pictures I actually show in my Batman videos. And he did an amazing uh, Jonah Hill Penguin fan art uh, concept for the Batman uh, a, long, a long, long time ago. And it's not been any secret amongst the fandom that everyone can envision this guy as the Penguin. However, guys, last night, if you want the full story and the full details, it came out that he was uh, being tapped to play a villain. But then it came out from uh, people like Justin Kroll and, and all kinds of other reporters that, yes, it's true that Jonah Hill is in talks to play a villain in the Batman. But which one? Not even Warner Brothers nor Hill knows because they can't decide on it. That's why talks are in super sensitive stage and have been ongoing for a a while so apparently um, he might not even be playing the penguin and other sources uh, from people like Jeff Snyder are actually saying uh, apparently low-key he's going to be playing the Riddler but you know at the same time we're also hearing uh, that they actually haven't definitively decided yet he's kind of deciding himself uh, because they don't know really where they quite want him to land whereas usually you know kind of on the nose in saying just like what the fandom has wanted for a long time and fan casted that he'd be perfect for the penguin now I know uh, ever since this discussion got brought up everyone's pointing out oh yeah but look how trimmed down Jonah Hill has got uh, you know that this does this really mean he could play the penguin you don't have to be quite large to play the penguin I know that is quite an envisioned thing in a lot of people's minds but I'm still of the opinion yeah well why can't he still play the penguin I mean even if he's super trimmed down now that doesn't really make a difference in my mind sure it comes more of the profile if he if he put on more weight for it or something like that you know from super traditionalist canon if you will but um at the same time that doesn't detract me really uh, because, you know, we've had, you know, recent uh, quite a few, well, a couple of iterations of the Penguin being skinny, if you will. Uh, for example, Robin Lord Taylor's Penguin on Gotham, which was arguably one of the things that carried that show is Robin Lord Taylor's Penguin and what he brought to that character and the role. It, it was absolutely incredible. So you can't really tell me, I mean, you can, but it's not really going to change my mind that just because Jonah Hill isn't like what he used to be, that means he can't play the penguin no 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 but at the same time it is very very interesting to hear that he's not just gone or Warner Brothers or even himself have been like yeah I want to play the penguin 
uh, or, you know, even the Riddler, because now people are kind of factoring in, oh, maybe he doesn't want to be like, you know, typecasting into being the Penguin. Maybe like now um, he, he might be like, oh, I want to be the Riddler. I want to be something else that people probably didn't expect me to play. Um, and the thing is, you know what? Jonah Hill is an amazing actor and I respect his decision if he wants to, you know, go for the Riddler and that's what they cast him as. But I think that would be a fundamental mistake just because this guy, seriously, I think no matter how much of a great performance he would pull off as the Riddler, I think he would engulf the Penguin in soul and essence so much more. As I said, like one more time, he will deliver a good Riddler. I, I have no doubt of that, but I don't see him as the Riddler, just like so many people don't. That doesn't mean he won't play a good Riddler, but it just still, at the end of the day, I, I have so much faith and I keep, and I will say one more time that he it will be a huge mistake if they don't let him play the Penguin. I mean, you know, I just see him in films like War Dogs or just other films, and, and you can kind of vibe just how much of a good penguin he would play. This is why it's been on so many fans' minds for the longest time now. So I really hope they make the right decision now. I'm sure if they make the decision for him to play another villain, such as the Riddler, it will, be, it will make sense to them and they'll feel like they did it for the right reasons. But one last thing to finish this off, which I just found super interesting uh, before we talk about Commissioner Gordon, which has a whole, you know, has me thinking a whole bunch of things, is that apparently, this is from Justin uh, Kroll again, that so on the Jonah front, he's had the offer for over a month and besides money being a bargaining point, at one point heard he wanted 10 million, which is wild since Rob isn't even making half of that, but also which character he would play, whether it's Riddler or Penguin, and so as you can kind of tell, all of these sources are kind of, you know, saying the same thing that he's been offered this for quite a while now. Uh, maybe he's umming and ahhing about even being in the DC universe and he's kind of flexing to Warner Brothers saying, if you want me, I kind of want uh, 10, 10 mil, if you know what. I mean, holy crap. I mean, I, I do get that this is the, you know, the business. This is the industry. He's a great actor. He's an Oscar nominee. But 10 million and then you've got the Batman himself, Robert Pattinson, who isn't really standing to make apparently half of that, like 5 mil-ish, under 5 mil probably, uh, with apparently Jonah Hill being like, I want 10 million. Now, another interesting thing to factor into this is if he is playing the Penguin, um, you know, I'm not saying this justifies 10 mil, <laughs> but uh, it, amongst the rumors for this film for the longest time is that, um, you know, the Penguin, out of all the rogues gallery that will be in this film, is meant to be the main front-focused villain, if you will. So, yeah, I, I think, you know, Jonah Hill's villain will be the most prominent in the movie, no matter who it is. Actually, maybe not if he is playing the Riddler and that those rumors are true, if the Penguin is still meant to be the most prominent one. Which, are uh, just, uh, uh, just, just Jonah, please play the Penguin. Please, 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 please 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 but you know i'm I, i'm sure you'll be a great riddler too okay so i know the riddler and penguin talk was a bit of a ramble but finally we can now talk about commissioner gordon now this has me interested for so many reasons a i love the casting i really really do um i know some people already out there are probably gonna go mad about the race bending uh which just opens up a whole new interesting thing for me anyway as if you're a regular watcher of my batman 2021 updates or just generally batman in the dcu i've always been like is this really connected why are people still, still saying this is connected okay there are some arguments for it but at the end of the day, I'm kind of on the side of let Matt Reeves have his, as literally have his own thing. And then this stuff comes out about, you know, first of all, uh, we spoke about not so long ago how uh, Matthew Reeves wanted uh, Marashala Ali, uh, who has now gone on to do Blade, which is probably the reason why he isn't our Commissioner Gordon in the Batman 2021. Um, obviously, which would be a race bend. Now we have Jeffrey Wright, who I just think is a fantastic casting for Commissioner Gordon. I mean, I mainly know his work from Westworld I know he has done uh, other things I have seen him in uh, but you know obviously I'm a huge Westworld fan I mean you may or may not know that I do cover it on this channel um, and he does have he does I can really tell he does have that kind of gym demeanor and I can really really see him working with Robert Pattinson's Batman or Bruce Wayne in the upcoming movie it just feels so right to me and obviously this means the same will apply to Batgirl uh, you know and I do it does make me think you know with all the people asking uh, you know 
my well, Bobo, are we going to get like a, a Robin in the movie? And I've always been like, okay, I don't want that in the first movie. And I don't think it will happen necessarily in the first movie. But if you're going to introduce a Robin or some, or someone like Dick Grayson, for example, do it towards the end of the second uh, film because this is a trilogy after all. And then you can have Batman and Robin fully going out in number three. But what if he actually starts with Batgirl, which would be interesting. These are adaptations at the end of the day. I always like to say this. It doesn't mean that they're going to do things starting with Dick Grayson and stuff like that. But this isn't even this video. I just wanted to talk about Batgirl for a second because obviously this leads into Commissioner Gordon now being Jeffrey Wright. Now, as I teased a second ago, I wanted to discuss the whole DCEU thing. I, I, I just think definitively... I still can't answer that. Some of you may think, oh, you're stupid, or you may say this to each other. I've seen people go really hard on this, saying, oh, you're so stupid or something like that, because how could this be connected since clearly Jeffrey Wright is nothing or looks nothing like J.K. Simmons, uh, you know, the Justice League Commissioner Gordon we had. And obviously, if this is meant to be a Batfleck prequel and set in the same world as Aquaman and Wonder Woman, how the hell does this match up? Uh, along with probably all of, all of the numerous design changes that are going to happen, whether that's the Batcave, this that the other the suit and of course you're gonna get people saying oh yeah but come on you know like this is like 10 plus years before Batfleck and stuff like that of course the cave and and the Batmobile and everything will look different okay but what about freaking Commissioner Gordon <laughs> how, how do you defend that one so some people are still saying this could still be a soft reboot it could still be set in uh, the world of Aquaman and Wonder Woman basically the DCEU but this is fundamentally still somewhat of a reboot going forward and they're still still gonna try and connect it however it may be subtly but they're still gonna try and connect it and it's not the most craziest change just because there have been recast in previous films whether that's Burton's or whoever else is it is a thing known to happen but I just think with the way things are being paved so far you know Matt Reeves should have his own little thing I just want it to be the case as I said I know people get triggered when I say that but it just does look like it's piping up to be that way. Um, you know, if it does somehow work out to be, uh, you know, in a long, long, long distance future, a soft reboot that somehow does tie Pattinson's Batman into the DCEU. And, you know, as long as they're not going to try and really focus on that interconnectivity anytime soon, because that would just be way too much in our faces uh, and too much to digest. I'll, I'll, I think I'll be OK with it. But they have to play the long game. If they're going to try and even attempt that, they have to play a major, major long game. But I, I've still got an inkling that it is truly its own thing. I think it's, you know, you could say, well, Boba, that's fairly obvious, as I've repeated a couple of times now, since obviously they're recasting people. Uh, you know, this makes me think of Alfred. It is kind of low-key obvious that it's not going to be Jeremy Irons. Um, you know, I'll, I'll hold my hands up if it is somehow. That'll make things even more confusing. Um, but you know what I mean, guys. Just add up the add up the the freaking math here. It just makes sense that it's its own thing. But ultimately, I guess you you never know. Never say never because you know this is Warner Brothers, and I wouldn't be surprised if they do try pull something out the bag with um, the Matthew Reeves iteration five years from now or something like that. So let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments below. So let me know how you feel about Jonah Hill. Do you believe that he should be able to play the Riddler? Which, you know, he, he is able to. Apparently they're deciding and he's deciding because they still don't quite know yet. But do you think regardless of the weight thing that people seem to be really heavily arguing about now, um, do you think he should play the Penguin? I still land on the Penguin. I get that maybe it, this might, you know, the reason why it hasn't been Penguin straight up and announced as that right now, maybe it has been by the time I've posted this video, is that maybe it's just because he's like, well, I don't want to be what everyone thinks I am and what I think they think I should look like. Maybe it is something as normal as that, but I think he should just kind of be like, eff it anyway, he clearly is destined to play the Penguin. But then again, some of you may type down in the comments below that, hey, Boba, you know, I, I think I think he is uh, actually, a, I reckon he could play an amazing Riddler. But I personally would love somebody like David Tennant. Uh, for the Riddler. That would just be such uh, that would be freaking amazing. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this kind of discussion breakdown video of the latest uh, news coming from the Batman 2021. I am expecting more casting information so all of it, it really is going to come uh, out the woodwork like it is uh, in the past 24 hours. So be sure to stay subscribed to the channel to make sure you never miss out on an update video and, and my breakdown on it. Uh, like this video if you did enjoy it. Uh, check out my links in the description down below and my past couple of Batman videos appearing on the screen right there. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you, Bat family, in the next video. Goodbye.